Detroit, Michigan. I've been an FBI Special Agent for 10 years now. My inspiration uh, was based heavily on my environment uh, where I grew up, uh, looking at law and local law enforcement within the state and federal, and realized that uh, I truly wanted to make a difference, so therefore I believe that uh, this is the way to go. I have a legal background, therefore I would be most likely in a law firm or a corporate law setting of some sort. I would say I definitely did my research. I think that's key for any position I want to go into. Uh, make sure that this was the right decision, not only for myself, but for my family as well, understanding the, the potential of having to move uh, throughout the country, if not the world, uh, as far as, uh, as well as the sacrifices that it would take uh, long term. The most rewarding part of my job, I would say, is uh, for the victims, uh, providing uh, a sense of closure in some circumstances, in other circumstances I would say uh, just allowing them to, uh, they've been victims, they've been victimized, so giving them an outlet of which we can protect them and at the same time provide uh, assistance with the investigation. I would say uh, I'm patient, it's something I've had to work on, uh, but I've definitely learned that over the years. Professionally, just uh, you know, continuing the sense of being meticulous and being methodical in everything that I do to ensure that the best result possible. I would say that cases can begin and end in uh, 30 minutes, which is what you see on TV. Uh, some cases can take years. And, uh, I think that's a myth that is uh, somewhat glossed over. Say that we exist. Uh, <laughs> uh, growing up, I hadn't had too much exposure to uh, black uh, FBI agents. So, uh, but now that I'm in this position uh, and been working with my colleagues, I have definitely uh, you know, the, the numbers are, are growing. I'm happy to be a part of that. Well, coming back to my hometown, which is uh, Detroit, that was uh, what I chose to do, and uh, I would say this is. This is why, and the reason is family, you know, just being, being back home, being familiar surroundings, uh, that's something that I enjoy. I would say it's very important that uh, you, you take your education seriously. Let's say you're listening to your parents, you're listening to your teachers. Um, you want to make sure that uh, what is very important, your actions today have a direct impact on uh, you know, what happens in the future uh, as far as cognizant of that uh, in your decision making moving forward. I would say the uh, environment in which we live, uh, the culture uh, and the degree in which we live by uh, is something that uh, I think we all can um, align ourselves with uh, and that goes uh, beyond uh, racial, uh, ethnic, uh, gender lines as well. So I would say that Take a look at that and uphold the, the laws of the Constitution, which in fact is all is something we should uh, be able to do. Balance is key, uh, but I would also uh, add to that uh, it is important to uh, have as much focus on the career that you have on your family as well. Uh, you know, for every event, every major event that has taken place throughout just last week, um, you know, we had a barricaded gun situation. That later that day, I was at uh, my daughter's ballet recital. So, uh, you know, just having that balance uh, is very important, and, and just keeping that in mind uh, as you move forward. Here. I've done quite a bit of traveling, uh, so I would say uh, that there are still uh, many countries uh, that I have not been to. Uh, that's what I like to do. Uh, so I can't necessarily name one specific area, but I would just like to say that I will continue my travels and fulfill that and enjoy my uh, Family, of course, is key. Uh, the uh, kids uh, going in different events, but I also enjoy uh, cooking. I enjoy that, uh, trying new things, uh, testing uh, different things so with my wife. Uh, she either gives me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, but uh, that is somewhat therapeutic. Uh, it's a, you know, following the 
recipes. Uh, I'm an old school by nature, so old school RP, uh, you know, 80s, 90s, uh, early 2000s rap. Um, I would just say, uh, but also classical. Uh, also, um, you know, just enjoy the, the, the day pop. I would just say to stay the course. Uh, it's very important that um, not get distracted uh, by uh, what's going around you at this time. Thank you.